In computing, performance per watt is a measure of the energy efficiency of a particular computer architecture or computer hardware. Literally, it measures the rate of computation that can be delivered by a computer for every watt of power consumed. This rate is typically measured by performance on the LINPAC benchmark when trying to compare between computing systems. System designers building parallel computers, such as Google's hardware, pick CPUs based on their other than green 500 performance per watt of power, because the cost of powering the CPU outweighs the cost of the CPU itself. Topic: <laughs> Definition The performance and power consumption metrics used depend on the definition. Reasonable measures of performance are FLOPs, MIPS, or the score for any performance benchmark. Several measures of power usage may be employed, depending on the purposes of the metric. For example, a metric might only consider the electrical power delivered to a machine directly, while another might include all power necessary to run a computer, such as cooling and monitoring systems. The power measurement is often the average power used while running the benchmark, but other measures of power usage may be employed e.g. peak power, idle power. For example, the early Univac I computer performed approximately 0.015 operations per watt second performing 1,905 operations per second ops, while consuming 125 kilowatts. The Fujitsu FRVVLIW vector processor system on a chip in the 4FR550 core variant released 2005 performs 51 gigaops with 3 watts of power consumption resulting in 17 billion operations per watt second. This is an improvement by over a trillion times in 54 years. Most of the power a computer uses is converted into heat, so a system that takes fewer watts to do a job will require less cooling to maintain a given operating temperature. Reduced cooling demands makes it easier to quiet a computer. Lower energy consumption can also make it less costly to run, and reduce the environmental impact of powering the computer see green computing. If installed where there is limited climate control, a lower power computer will operate at a lower temperature, which may make it more reliable. In a climate-controlled environment, reductions in direct power use may also create savings in climate control energy. Computing energy consumption is sometimes also measured by reporting the energy required to run a particular benchmark, for instance EEMBC EnergyBench. Energy consumption figures for a standard workload may make it easier to judge the effect of an improvement in energy efficiency. Performance in operations per second per watt can also be written as operations watt second or operations joule since 1 watt equals 1 joule per second equals topic flops per watt equals flops per watt is a common measure like the flops floating point operations per second metric it is based on the metric is usually applied to scientific computing and simulations involving many floating point calculations equals topic examples equals as of June 2016, the Green 500 list rates the two most efficient supercomputers highest, those are both based on the same Manicore Accelerator PEZY SCNP Japanese technology in addition to Intel Xeon processors, both at Riken, the top one at 6,673.8 megaflops, watt, and the third ranked as the Chinese technology Sunway Taihulite a much bigger machine, that is the ranked second on TOP 500. 
500, the others are not on that list at 6051.3 megaflops watt. In June 2012, the Green 500 list rated BlueGene Q Power BQC 16C as the most efficient supercomputer on the TOP500 in terms of flops per watt, running at 2100.88 megaflops watt. On the 9th of June 2008, CNN reported that IBM's Roadrunner supercomputer achieves 376 megaflops watt. In November 2010, IBM Machine Blue Gene Q achieves 1684 megaflops watt as part of Intel's Terra Scale research project. The team produced an 80 core CPU that can achieve over 16000 megaflops watt. The future of that CPU is not certain. Microwolf, a low-cost desktop Beowulf cluster of four dual-core Athlon 64x2 3800 Plus computers, runs at 58 megaflops, watt. Calray has developed a 256-core VLIW CPU that achieves 25,000 megaflops, watt. Next generation is expected to achieve 75,000 megaflops watt. Adaptiva has announced the Epiphany V, a 1024-core 64-bit RISC processor intended to achieve 75 gigaflops slash watt. Dot US patent 10,020,436, July 2018 claims three intervals of 100, 300, and 600 gigaflops watt. Topic: Green 500 list. The Green 500 list ranks computers from the TOP 500 list of supercomputers in terms of energy efficiency, typically measured as Linpack flops per watt. As of November 2012, an APRO International Inc. Extreme X supercomputer, Beacon, topped the Green 500 list with 2,499 Linpack MFLOPS W. Beacon is deployed by Nix of the University of Tennessee and is a Greenblade GB824M, Xeon E52670 based, 8 cores 8C, 2.6 GHz, InfiniBand FDR, Intel Xeon Phi 5110P computer. As of June 2013, the Eurotech supercomputer Aurora at Seneca topped the Green 500 list with 3,208 Linpack MFLOPS, W. The Seneca Aurora supercomputer is equipped with two Intel Xeon E52687 W CPUs and two PCIe connected NVIDIA Tesla K20 accelerators per node. Water cooling and electronics design allows for very high densities to be reached with a peak performance of 350 teraflops per rack. As of November 2014, the LCSC supercomputer of the Helmholtz Association at the GSI in Darmstadt, Germany topped the Green 500 list with 5,271 megaflops, W and was the first cluster to surpass an efficiency of 5 gigaflops, W. It runs on Intel Xeon E52690 processors with the Intel Ivy Bridge architecture and AMD FirePro S9150 GPU accelerators. It uses in-rack watercooling and cooling towers to reduce the energy required for cooling. As of August 2015, the Shubu supercomputer of Riken outside Tokyo, Japan, tops the Green 500 list with 7,032 megaflops W. The top three supercomputers of the list use PEZYSC accelerators GPU like that use OpenCL, by PEZY computing with 1024 cores each and 6 to 7 gigaflops, W efficiency. GPU efficiency Graphics processing units GPU have continued to increase in energy usage, while CPU's designers have recently focused on improving performance per watt. High-performance GPUs may draw large amount of power and hence, intelligent techniques are required to manage GPU power consumption. Measures like 3DMark 2006 score per watt can help identify more efficient GPUs. 
However that may not adequately incorporate efficiency in typical use, where much time is spent doing less demanding tasks. With modern GPUs, energy usage is an important constraint on the maximum computational capabilities that can be achieved. GPU designs are usually highly scalable, allowing the manufacturer to put multiple chips on the same video card, or to use multiple video cards that work in parallel. Peak performance of any system is essentially limited by the amount of power it can draw and the amount of heat it can dissipate. Consequently, performance per watt of a GPU design translates directly into peak performance of a system that uses that design. Since GPUs may also be used for some general purpose computation, sometimes their performance is measured in terms also applied to CPUs, such as flops per watt. Topic. Challenges While performance per watt is useful, absolute power requirements are also important. Claims of improved performance per watt may be used to mask increasing power demands. For instance, though newer generation GPU architectures may provide better performance per watt, continued performance increases can negate the gains in efficiency, and the GPUs continue to consume large amounts of power. Benchmarks that measure power under heavy load may not adequately reflect typical efficiency. For instance, 3 Mark stresses the 3D performance of a GPU, but many computers spend most of their time doing less intense display tasks idle, 2D tasks, displaying video. So the 2D or idle efficiency of the graphics system may be at least as significant for overall energy efficiency. Likewise, systems that spend much of their time in standby or soft off are not adequately characterized by just efficiency under load. To help address this some benchmarks, like SpecPower, include measurements at a series of load levels, the efficiency of some electrical components, such as voltage regulators, decreases with increasing temperature, so the power used may increase with temperature. Power supplies, motherboards, and some video cards are some of the subsystems affected by this. So their power draw may depend on temperature, and the temperature or temperature dependence should be noted when measuring. Performance per watt also typically does not include full life cycle costs. Since computer manufacturing is energy intensive, and computers often have a relatively short lifespan, energy and materials involved in production, distribution, disposal, and recycling often make up significant portions of their cost, energy use, and environmental impact. Energy required for climate control of the computer's surroundings is often not counted in the wattage calculation, but it can be significant. Other energy efficiency measures Swap space, wattage and performance is a Sun Microsystems metric for data centers, incorporating energy and space S W A P equals P E R F O R M A N C E S P A C E P O W E R Display style mathrm swap equals frac mathrm performance mathrm space c d o t mathrm power, where performance is measured by any appropriate benchmark and space is size of the computer. Topic. See also. Energy efficiency benchmark average CPU power ACP a measure of power consumption when running several standard benchmarks EEMBC energy bench 
SpecPower, a benchmark for web servers running Java server-side Java operations per Joule Other Data Center Infrastructure Efficiency DCIE. Energy Proportional Computing GeForce 9 series, for GPU list, with energy use and theoretical flops IT Energy Management Kumi's Law Landauer's Principle Low Power Electronics Power Usage Effectiveness Notes and references Further reading Wu Chun Feng, October 2003. Making a case for efficient supercomputing. ACMQ 17. Kirk W. Cameron, November 2013. HPC power efficiency and the Green 500. HPC Wire 27:11. Wu Chun Feng and Kirk W. Cameron, December 2007. The Green 500 List, Encouraging Sustainable Supercomputing. IEEE Computer. 40 12. <laughs> External links 25 Energy Efficient Supercomputers The Green 500 Lists